me tonight, and that's the evidence. The demon is cast out. Now, this booklet has been published by Islamic Propagation Center in Durban, where you are the president. You don't have your name on it, but the very interesting thing is the main part of your, of your message tonight is what is written in this booklet. And uh, I want to give you the scriptures where Jesus explains his divinity. He says in Matthew, Matthew 19 and 20, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. He gives himself divine quality, being present as God, wherever people pray. And then Jesus says, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Could it be more clear than that? And in John 5, I read it before, Jesus says about himself, For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. And the Father has committed all judgment unto the Son. Jesus is telling us, I am God because I am going to judge mankind. And in Philippians, the second chapter, it says, Every knee should bow unto the name of Jesus, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. So Jesus is going to be worshipped. And in the book of Revelation, Jesus says himself, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Before that he said, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. I am he that lives. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death. Jesus declares divine authority, but... During the time when Jesus appeared on earth, there were so many that called themselves Messiah. So he used another way to manifest himself. He did things God does. And he allowed people to give the witness about whom he is, but at the same time, he did say it. He did say it. Now, Ahmed Didat, in one way, uh, you always speak with a double tongue. I'm sorry to say that because you opened up and said that you don't make a challenge, you only give an appeal. But today you said that you look at these discussions as a boxing match and uh, you say that you believe in Jesus, that he is Christ, and then you, you, you spend one hour denying this Jesus and making, you are mocking and, and, and blaspheming our Jesus Christ. Because there is one thing you don't understand. You have raised around 30 different questions. And this is also the tactics of the Muslims in this uh, discussion, because you have come here to challenge my Christian faith. And the Muslims have told me, don't say anything against the Quran. And then you ask me to speak before you, and then you give me 10 minutes to answer 30 questions. It's not fair. But I, I just want to tell you, that all what you don't understand is what the Bible says. The great love of God, He, it says like this, that Jesus 
being equal with God, in the form of God, made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Why scorn and mock and blaspheme this Jesus when he came and wept with the people in sorrow? Why make funny stories about Jesus being hungry when he wanted to identify with the starving people? Never Muslims make anything to help their refugees. The Christians have to do it. Jesus, Jesus was willing to become an ordinary man and he prayed unto his father during that time. He felt pain. He was sleepy. That is fully right. And when he talked to the fig tree, you have not read the Bible. This is what I always say. Because if you knew the Bible, you knew that Jesus, when he spoke to the fig tree, he knew that in the Old Testament, Israel always was illustrated as a fig tree. And Jesus prophesied against Israel at that time. There are explanations on every attack that you have on Christianity. And when you say that Jesus is a racist, I get upset. Because Jesus, he said, go into all the world and make all kind of people my disciples and he explained how they should start in Jerusalem and then in Judea and then go further on to Samaria and then into the whole world and this was the strategy of Jesus those verses you quote I mean if I'm going to carry away as we did listen here we gave to Eritrea when Eritrea and Ethiopia was starving, we gave one million kilo wheat from my church. And we sent it, listen, we sent it with a boat. But do you make a joke? Do you mock me? Do you blaspheme me if I must say that because of our limitations, we had to take 25 kilo first? And then we took 25 more, and then 100 kilo, and then 1,000 kilo. And if I said, the first hours, we take only 500 kilo, then we will continue with 500 more. Jesus said, now I, I have just come now to the Israelis. I must start here, in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria. But then he declared, and you always keep quiet about what the Bible says in its, in its context. This is your tactic all over the world. Jesus said, my love is for the whole world. Amen. Time is out, and this is very typical. Many questions, no time to, ask, to answer. We thank you, Mr. Stanley Sherberg and Jachmin Dudat for their speeches. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to proceed. To